Look at this. I'm freaking huge. Freaking huge. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> Welcome to That's Not Sexy. I am your master love personal trainer, Alex Diaz, once again. Mr. Freaking Huge. Alright. And <laughs> this video is going to be about proteins and constipation and all the good stuff. So, here we go. Um, proteins. I'm just joking. I'm not going to say <laughs> quiet. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro, I'm silly. Proteins. Uh, how much protein do you need? Do you really need 200? If you if you weigh 200 pounds, you have to have 200 grams of protein. One gram per protein. You need a thousand grams of protein a day to get bigger muscle. The more protein you get, the bigger the muscles get. Hell, no. all inaccurate. It's all fake. You don't need that much protein as you think you do. And actually, an excessive amount of protein will cause a lot of constipation and extra calories that you do not need. Your body does not need that much protein, man. Stop feeding into the freaking marketing and ads that these companies that make protein say you need this much. And we're talking about natural bodybuilding here, you know. So, uh, the National Strength and Coaching Association only recommends for a full-time athlete, come on, the maximum amount of protein, 0.8 grams per pound of must of, of body weight. That means if you weigh 200 pounds, you need 160 grams of protein. This is if you're an athlete. Okay, I'm pretty sure most of the people watching my videos are not athletes. They might go to the gym three times a week, four times a week. No, no. So you don't even need that much protein. Um, Average would be like 0 0.6, 0 0.4 to 0.6 person that's going to the gym would need, sorry, 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 grams of protein per body weight is what an average person in the gym would need. So about a full-time athlete would need 0.48 grams, all right? So you don't need all the protein that you think you need, all right? That's why I'm like, a lot of my videos about proteins and what, what you get it from your foods and all this and that, all right? And... I, I'm 200 and about 15 pounds. I've never taken 215 grams of protein a day. If I did, I would be pooping blood, <laughs> all right? Because <laughs> too much protein would cause a lot of constipation, by the way. So what I do with my protein drink, because I have my meal in the morning, or actually in the afternoon, I have my protein drink while I work, I add um, some uh, colon cleanse, which is pretty much a husk, high fiber cleanse. So that way, even if I have eat too much protein, I'll be able to go to the bathroom fine. But I don't even eat that much protein. I don't eat the amount of protein of my body weight because that is a waste of protein. Your body cannot absorb that much protein. And if you take too much protein, no, you will not get bigger muscles. If you take 300 grams of protein, you will not get bigger muscles if you take a hundred grams of protein, all right? So that's, that's setting this, the record straight. So don't um, worry about eat, having high amounts of protein. That does not make a difference unless, uh, unless you're an athlete, you're a full-time athlete and you need to take 0. 0.6 grams of protein per day, then yeah, you gotta take point, sorry, 0. 0.8 grams a day. Then yeah, you gotta take, if you're a 200 pound person, 160 grams of protein a day. All right. Um, if you're eating enough protein from your food, you don't need to take a protein drink. Again, I just take a protein drink because I'm at work training people, and I don't have time to make steaks and all this other stuff. So I just take my shake. I add my my uh, colon cleanse, which is pretty much high fiber, and it looks like pretty much if you were to take cardboard and chop it up into little pieces and put it in water, it tastes like crap. But I add it to my protein drink, and I don't. It don't taste. It tastes great to me because it's protein with my fiber together. So if you're eating anything with protein, make sure you have something with fiber, some kind of green leafy vegetable. So you have your steak, you have your celery, or you have your broccoli mixed to have a combination of good proteins and also fiber. If you have too much protein, you will be a. You will get a butt plug, and you will. You get constipated. 
you might even have bloody stools so this is why I want to talk about I made this video more for anything else is that I want people to have problems with constipation okay you have to make sure you drink at least two quarts of water because that would also uh, cause constipation as well de-stressing um, having fiber like a lot of fiber a lot of green leafy vegetables would help um, but don't worry about your protein intake you do not need as much as you think you do anyone telling you you need one gram or two grams uh, per body weight do they know what the hell they're talking about and don't know about actual studies from national studies and they're just going by by what bodybuilders say or what uh, forms are saying about you know the amount of protein you need or, or pretty much just reading what <laughs> protein manufacturers want you to know because think about it if I'm a protein manufacturer I'm gonna tell you you need 50 grams of protein every second because I want your money I want you know, come on man look take this protein man, I'm telling you this protein right here look you take this protein you get big muscles all right and you need to take this right it's only it's only like ten dollars right take each bottle right you take this every hour all right and you take you take ten you at least take ten a day all right take ten a day every of course you're gonna come on they're gonna try to sell you because they want to you to, they want your money they want to tell you you need so much protein but there's no studies backing up that you need that much protein matter of fact having too much protein would not only will you not get any more any benefit or bigger muscles will cause constipation you're gonna get fat you're gonna have more calories that you do not need <laughs> so think about that all right um I know I made a lot of protein videos protein and protein um was good to take if you're gonna have protein um brolinium which is pretty much you get it from pineapple pineapple will help absorption and digestion of proteins not a little tip to help you guys out about protein I'm not gonna make any more videos about proteins all right I made videos about which vegetables have the highest amount of protein which nuts have the high amount of protein uh, all that stuff so if I would make another video about protein it would be about which one tastes better because <laughs> they're all the same all right so that's it for protein and that's it for this video so make sure you like comment subscribe not only to this channel but to my second channel where it's pretty much quick it did you know facts so you can impress your friends so if you want to impress your friends subscribe to this channel and to my second channel up there I have the links and and if you're not subscribed that's not sexy man and I'm freaking you look at that, look at that. I'm hungry now I'm gonna eat some